Welcome back everybody. It is time for heat number one of the Cadet 12s in the SQ Series round number two, Ipswich Car Club. And it will be Wellesley. And I think it's Bromit. Well, it could be Bromit from the front. So I'm going to look at this uh, timing system again. That is uh, Jacob Scott. Indeed it is. So Wellesley and Scott from the front. Wilhelm, Suffolk, then Platten, then James, then Bowen. Then it's Thompson, James, McMillan and Jakes, then Gavoni and Feather, Attard and Sell, Silcock and Peacock. Silcock, then Feather, Santin and O'Day, Houghton and Stevens, Titman and Ensby, and Buckley off the back. Expect to see, where is Alice? Expect to see Alice Buckley breeze through from the back in that number 50 car, if that is indeed where she's starting from. I've got, to com I've got to confirm first, I'm going to have to walk look and see where she is because this timing system has got a few people mixed up again. But I can see that it is Wellesley and Scott from the front. Right behind them it is definitely Platten and Bo Bromhead in a slightly different coloured cart. Suffolk and James are there, Bowen and Thompson are there, Maxie James and Ryan McMillan are there. And I'm still not seeing... Alice Buckley, so I'll just wait and see where she pops up when the time crops up the first time because there's too many for me to go looking for one. It's they're all the same. Does anybody have that drama of trying to look for your own kid? They all look the same. Maybe we should have a, a, a potluck, different colour helmet scheme for everybody. Alrighty, through Howards. We're about to go green light racing. There are 27 Cadet 12 carts on track. It is heat one, round two, SQ series, Ipswich Car Club. Do we go green light racing? No, we don't. Drama, 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 and tension. And look how we got almost a full grandstand. Nice one. Alrighty, through they come, through DPE Superstore, on towards One Fix Plumbing. Oh, I'm going to look for Alice because I've got the timing system saying she's starting off of. 27 and I can guarantee she's not so I'm going to look for that number 50 and then I'll tell you two four six she said oh she's on the th fourth row th fourth row Alice Buckley on the timing sheets is off 27 but I can tell you she's on the fourth row she's seventh and eighth so this timing is um gone awry I do apologize I've never been on with it yet it's just rotten, sorry guys. So, here we go then, what can Wellesley, what can Scotty do? Can Bromhead, can Wilhelm do anything from the second row? We're about to find out. Heat number one, Cadet 12s, do we go green, light, racing! Yes we do! And it is Wellesley, the Ormo Massive, who gets the whole shot and goes through to the front. Off to DPE, clean all the way through. They've made it with no mistakes. So it is Wellesley, Scott, Wilhelm into third. Feathers up to fourth. It looks like Platten's gone to fifth as they all stream through RHQ. Up towards Patrice's. Look at Feather up the inside of Wilhelm already. Now he looks really racy. Down towards DT, they go for the first flying lap. And it was Wellesley, the Ormo Massive, who got the whole shot. Jacob Scott did indeed go with him, but there are moves aplenty behind them. Alice Buckley looks like she's making a move there at Howard's. To Howard's, onto the sweep of the head. Now we're going to read on who's where as they all stream over the start finish line for the first flying lap. Wellesley's got time to look over the shoulder. He won't have that time for long unless that Buckley's going through. It might not be Buckley, but somebody says Platten, I think. It's gone through on Wilhelm, so it is. Wellesley, Scott, Feather, then it is Platten, Wilhelm, then Scott. Then it's one of the James brothers, I think. On oh, they continue up to Patrice's. Buckley's right there, right behind the 94. Kai Suffolk, he's got a blinder. Kai Suffolk's on the charge through DTE. Down the back straight they come then, the leading three again away a little bit. All sorts of moves going on behind. But it is well scored, Feather, Wilhelm, or Platten, Wilhelm, Suffolk, Buckley, 
Bromet, Thompson, Santin, Gavoni, Bowen. Then it's James, Silkoff, McMillan, Feder, Silkoff, James, Sell, Stevens, O'Day, Jake, Houghton, Peacock, Titman, Atard down of it somewhere. I'm missing Atard and Ensby. What happened to Dashing Dom? I've not seen him anywhere. Through they go, through Intimidator, onto Electro. Look at this now, Ethan Feather. He has got the bit between his teeth. Right up behind Jacob Scott, into Patrizes. Now where will he make a move? Oh, all sorts of stuff going on. Alice Buckley's in the thick of it as they head down to DTE. All sorts of moves going on into DTE. It is all everywhere but loose. Into Howard's head with the leading trio. Still Wellesley out front. Scott though, he's holding up Ethan Feather. Jacob Scott hanging on to second for Grim Death. Three laps completed. Feather goes through to second. Did it in Freem. Now they're into DPE Superstore. Wellesley, he might well know who to expect to come up on his shoulder any moment now. And it does look like Ethan Feather has some really quick race pace. He's got really quick lines through here. Down towards DTE they go. Still Feather right behind the leader, Wellesley, the Ormo Massive. Down the back straight he goes. Into Howard's. This will be four laps completed. On to 12, now they're into the sweeper. And look at Feather, he's dragging Jacob Scott with him. Over the start finish line they go. Still Wellesley hanging on, but Feather's going quicker still. Feather still goes quicker. Through the flip flop, they'll all come then, calling as they do. Well, Feather, Scott, then Platten. Then it's Wilhelm, Suffolk, Thompson, Bromhead. Then it's B Buckley, Bowen, Santin, Gavoni, Silcock, Feather, McMillan. Then it's James, Sill, Silcock, O'Day, Jakes, Houghton. Then Stevens, Peacock, Titman, and Sammy James. All at it at the back here. Still all to play for. Luca Houghton has got that number 20 on of Lily Stevens right there. Connor Peacock's in the mix with them. And so is Henry Tipman, son of Kev. Through DTE they go. Onto the back straight. That quartet are having as big a ding dong as the guys out front. Through Howard's they go. We'll flip back to the front, guys. It is. Still Wellesley holding on from Ethan Feather, the 26. Through Intimidator, onto Electro they go. Still it's on, up towards Patrizes. Wells is now looking over his shoulder. He's really gonna put the pedal to the metal. He's gonna have to move it and shake it and just let it bake it into DTE. Onto the back straight they go. Wells and Feather, nothing between the two. This is for the win, remember. Jacob Scott's been dropped just a little bit. Looks like Alice. Buckley's down to nice. Had some dramas in that pack she's fighting with. It's all getting a bit complicated. Platten's in clear air. But Buckley, right behind Bromed, who's right behind Wilhelm. Holding them all up. Just in front of them is Thompson and Suffolk. Having a ding-dong themselves. Thompson and Suffolk at each other. Very confident they were this morning too. Back we are though with a leading pair. Into Patrizes. Six laps have been completed. This will be seven. Down to DTE they go. Onto the back straight. Can Feather catch Wellesley? Wellesley's got some pace. The Ormo Kid, hometown hero, the Ormo Flyer, Wellesley, hanging on from the flying Ethan Feather onto the start finish line. White flag is waved. Can he hang it on? He's going to hang it all out for the entire last lap. Through Freem, onto Global Hub, through DPE. Now they're into one fixed plumbing, heading on to Intimidator. 
Feather's right there, goes tight into Electro. Look at Feather, he is all over the back of Wellesley. Wellesley looks over the shoulder into Patrizes. Tight line from Feather, down to DTE. Feather gets the head down. Through DTE, oh, Feather, he had a real look. Now Wells will have to shove the door. Oh, Wells got the run. Feather tried it, but it didn't work. Into Howard for the last time. And Heat won SQ Series. Round two. Connect 12. Your winner, the number 25, Ormo Kid, Jack Wells. Second, Ethan Feather. Third, Jacob Scott. Fourth, Platten. Fifth, Suffolk. Sixth. Thompson, 7th Bromhead, 8th Wilhelm, 9th Buckley, 10th Bowen, then it's Stanton, Cavoni, Feather, Silcock, McMillan, James was 16th, then it's Sell, then it's Ryan Silcock, Jake's 19th, then it's O'Day, Luca Houghton 21st, Lily Stevens 22nd, Connor Peacock 23rd, Henry Tippman 24th, Sammy James, 4 laps down, must have had a big drama, and Attard, and ends B, nothing on the timing sheet. Well, that's it, that's Sammy James pushing it off. So he's obviously had a drama, not sure what it was. He'll come back stronger, believe me, he's not slow.